time that you're actually recording, and that's what you actually can see. You can see what you're recording on. Pretty quiet. But, uh, <laughs> who says I want to see my fucking face as I speak all camera? I do, for one. <laughs> I'd like to see your fucking face. I mean, we can have a great conversation here. No, no, discussion. let us say that. We can uh, make music. We can do all types of shit. Um, let us say that angle. we can put the camera on in an angle where we're doing more than just looking at the television. We need a. Uh, my glasses or something, right? Because as for now, you catch me on a camera, and I'm all I can you say, all, week on a camera. <laughs> all I can say is, I always say a camera. Oh my God, that is worse than a microphone. It's the camera with the microphone. <laughs> I'm just giving you because the microphone. If I have addiction to a microphone. And strong trepidante verborrea. Yeah. Just imagine what a camera does to me. But see, here's the really interesting part about your verborrea, which I don't often confess to you because you're my mother and I shouldn't confess this thing to you. But in actually, in actuality, your verborrea can be very interesting. You say things that are really sometimes very hallucinative. Very hallucinative. So I don't think of it as verborrea when I'm actually recording and I think of it as a document of what okay, so we psychedelia say, is all about. So we say, then we have to have some cues. When I'm off camera, yeah. I'm talking to a camera that I don't want to be recorded in, which is my camera that I have been talking to all my life, the satellite moon. Okay. Right? Yeah. And when I'm a lunatic, and I come and say, Colo Fox, we know <laughs> <laughs> that I belong to the band of Loco Valdez in Mexico. Definitely. And immediately we go, my general, this way, because this is the camera action. Wait, is it the other hand? Or of course it's the other way, but this is the camera action to the other way of the reaction. See, what am I doing in the camera right now? In order to have the reality of a camera, let me explain to you something really Do you know what an angle of 90 degrees is? Yeah. It's, okay. the, it's the corner over here on the, on the screen. In order to corner. have a reality of the camera, I would have to have a camera that makes an angle over here and gives me 90 degrees over here. What I mean is on this line. Yeah, but there's only one... Okay. So what this happens way. is, what we're looking there is not actually only illusion, right? Which is what we're looking at every time we look at anything we look at in this planet Earth, on this um, human body. Right. But it's an illusion. Do you mind? Because you're being centered there, and I <laughs> hate you to be the center of my screen. <laughs> Why don't we put the camera on and just with a, grab that table over there. You grab your ass and take a part. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm just saying because you know it's just. And so what I was gonna say is, yeah. if I had a camera that was uh, ridiculous, ridiculously, ridiculously truthful, I would have to have an angle of a 90 degree camera that would give me both images so that I would look at myself the way I really am. No, man, you'd have like a round camera. Right now, my left hand is actually my right hand in the uh, camera action, right? Yeah. Are we together in this? Yeah. It's a projection. It's a projection of ourselves. And my right hand is there, my left hand. Because we're not looking at ourselves, but a reflection of ourselves, as we would right, look. Right, 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 right. As it's we would the, look. And it's worse, it's a mirror. See, I figured out it's a mirror, this camera. The mirror. Yeah, but it's a mirror like Lewis's mirror in the Alice that in is Wonderland. The it's not it's like a, a mirror a, that yeah. will really open a portal. But it is a, a portal, because, see, this thing is going everywhere. Just to a very primitive Peter Pan, uh, British, Big Ben... Reaction. Do you want to stay there for eternity? 
Do you want to Robin Wilson yourself with a red nose like Rosso and be your person? No, I'm just saying that it's a nice little mirror. Look, who's the Lord of the Mirror? I want to I wanna get me a, a, a green dye for my canvas now. Next stop in a new look. No, I hit your pipe. Next stop in the new look is green hair. Green hair over the white. Because there's not enough white to be white hair. So I gotta give it a tint of green and see what it does. It gives me more ecological feelings here. If it feeds my green vitamin again. Anyway, back to the screen. Now we see that we've been on five. Five fifty-five. Five minutes, almost six minutes. Almost and I would say over and out as a capsule. Why? Because long term shit is boring. See, I don't care to I'm boring. I am a I am a I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not into making an announcement of a commercial. I went to a school I'm to make it, it's, it's, I went to a school where they taught you how to attract and how to interact with the subconscious of people by making them believe they were using the best toothpaste in the planet where they were only getting their systems all filled with substances right. that were not necessarily the best no. in the planet. Yet, I worked and learned how to do that, how to, how to use the minutes on the screen for a purpose of that. Why is the color on the screen changing all the time? <laughs> What's going on there? It's going to be our auras. <laughs> Look at that. It's going to different <laughs> colors. What the fuck's going on there, man? And That's weird. Just That's just... Play stupid. with your aura <laughs> and give me an aura. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me an aura. Yeah. Hit me with your aura. There. It's blue. You hit me with your fucking aura. Just hit me, don't mm -hmm. touch me. No, it's too you have to throw <laughs> your energy. That's it. Then, you see, it changes <laughs> the color of your face, changes the pixels. Okay, it's gonna be a rational explanation for that shit. Oh, well, Mira, I call it moon alike. And it means you're surfing in the moon yeah. with satellite waves yeah. of uh, metallic elements that are disturbing the. Hyperbolas paraboloides that are oh, coming point. back. Now check this out. Hyperbolas paraboloides. What's an hyperbola? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's two circles kind of like going around, right? More or less. So there's one side, the other side, one side, the other side. They go join the center. But check it out. Here, in this little camera here, I can, finger, you close I can close it by finger is an infinity of space and time recording I know this image is, and, and, this and, and is the sound, magic man. of cyberspace which is the file of the xxxxx files because there in cyberspace i don't really think the americans or the russians or any kind of nation has control over whatever can move itself and all the other satellites and the other planets um, advent in these metallic imitations of their, uh, let us say, search, because then we have these ondas de larga distancia, like the one that got to Mars and discovered blah blah blahs in Mars, and the one that went all the way to Saturn, and the one that went and all these gorgeous, wonderful news from NASA that might be the best flies ever figured out by any kind of nation. Or might be just the new way to understand matter as matter really is because actually when you think of matter you have to go back to the purity of the five elements in their gross manner because the uh, universe as we know it with these uh, planetary systems and all these planets and satellites floating around it is actually a conception in the Vedic way, in my particular world, say, Siddhanta, 
but I don't want to be so uh, ambitious as to say Siddhanta, but let us say my philosophical conclusions on the studies of the Vedanta take me to understand that the talus of the lotus flower that gives birth to Lord Brahma that comes from the um, cool umbilical bottom of uh, Vishnu's uh, belly is actually contained in and when Mahapralaya happens, this is absolutely speculative, probably is in no trust at all whatsoever, and I just invented it myself. But it's a good invention that I like. Uh, it's uh, Mahapralaya is when it actually dissolves into, and there's Maitreya always finding Lord Vishnu again, which is my conception of uh, eternity because when we get into that Rasik interpretation or the, or the, or the very Madhurya Rasa kind of um, dance and uh, style that it happens, it comes to me to understand that Govinda is only eight years of age and it's got to be the purest and most beautiful dances and the expansions of any kind of conception of God. Yet, I fear not, I dare not, without knowledge of Rah and obeys and humble dandas to do the Lodshi. Successive uh, steps to <coughs> enter <coughs> the holy dam of Vrindavan, right? Mm. Which is the final destination to the soul if the soul is ambitious enough to aim that way, right? Explain for our audience what is the difference between soul. I would say you find everything in Lord uh, Krishna's knowledge. But if your in, knowledge is in, in Srila Prabhupada's book, from the Vedanta book, or in the Vrinda school, because I have a particularity that I know that the people that are listening to this, that will have to understand what I'm talking about, I don't have to explain any of my speculations. I would probably be a little scolded by them and sent to some kind of country to restudy <laughs> my <laughs> to restudy my old Bhagavatam <laughs> uh, execution, and I would probably be given some kind of little muscle on the on the uh, uh, como se dice, uh, vanity or the daring vanity of uh, comparing or not respecting the scriptures like I should, where I am getting stoned and still reading them. Yet, I feel that it is my responsibility and nobody else's, and only my spiritual master, who is up on a day to Maharaj from Germany, is uh, the person that and stop me from doing anything. I have a little marble here called Planet Earth for you at 14.2. And I say, have we been 14 and 6 minutes on the screen, boy? Time is irrelevant, brother. This is a long show. That means that you want to be in the absolute. I in the relative don't know. the absolute is so within us. Why do I have to go to I uh, a very clever observance yet I feel not so wise myself as to give such a statement. I mm. still work on the relative thing where I be in the absolute the I then in Loi Bazaar on a white matas ajan or really doing what I should do. Chintamani and Sochini Koran. 
Cook a shrimp doesn't exist. Shrimp is a waste of energy. Shrimp is a waste. You think they are or they're not? Shrimp is a way to explain in English nicely something. And one should not eliminate should of the English language when it suits so well. When it comes to English doubt. Terence McKenna talks about language being ultimate frontier, as if language can actually uh, dissolve our reality simply by the changing of it. I have one thing about Terence McKenna to say. What? His brain tumor <laughs> was hostile. Was a hostile takeover by the mushrooms. <laughs> therefore, yeah. his ingest of magic was not pure. Right. And therefore, he is not my leader anymore. Here's what Dennis said about him. He was a very him. important person. He was a very important person in the psychedelic revolution and in the world of Merkins and other psychopaths. Yeah. But, he's not my hero anymore. I hate to say it, but same has happened with my aunt Sushila. Sushila, my beautiful girl, Blanquita, yep. who grabbed Blanca La Plata by the shoulder and didn't want to die. Why are you in the center of my I'm going to change the uh, direction of this thing because I've got a tire battery in my lap. Uh, why is this uh, Sushila betrayed the the real teaching of the desapego, because the verdadero desapego would mean that being able to really enjoy leaving the body, no? And when I mean really enjoy leaving the body, I mean like if you're going to die very old and very happy in the company of people that you love, and they're going to be happy about you passing on to the new dimension or to the new whatever, <laughs> that you expect to pass on to, and you have more or less solved all the uh, little gadgets and questions on the material existence that you have had on this particular body. Well, I feel there isn't anything more joyful and beautiful than to die with your people around you singing and dancing and enjoying, and then you get to uh, Try to see mom and dad once and twice and three times. We did it from my uh, from my way up Australia. We were having a feast at the day. At you playing? Yes. <sighs> when she was dying and when she was being watched for the. Uh, you know, I think I resolved the uh, mystery of the, uh, of, of, of the weird lights. Look at the lights. Well, it's white because the big screen TV is white, right? When it changes, there you go. Black. See? This result. I told you I had to get flashy information to get off. It didn't work. <laughs> I get to the glasses. There was something I could. What's her name or the daughter? She's still alive, please. Mm -hmm. No, 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 please. No, no. no Unless you're really okay, okay. you want to see it first. Uh, well, you're not even watching it, right? I'm watching. Well, okay. Mama We're recording. We are going to watch Mama Mia. We have Mama Mia, which we'll is your Mama sister's Mia. presence yeah, I, I, in this yeah, particular moment. That's a uh, stoner. Mama sure Mia a stone. is a stoner. And that's a stone, stony stone. That's a lady who plays her symbols. Yeah, that's fine. But put some sanity to it. Well, at least a little bit it could be meaningful. But okay. You know when Mamma Mia comes on that I can't uh, monetize my videos? Which I don't give a shit about this. Ah, 
in Spanish. I can't believe it. I hope the music is in English. The music probably is in English. Oh, That's not Mamma Mia, right? Oh, yes, it is. Is it? Yes, sorry. There's three daddies. And she's getting married and she has to know who her daddy is because her mom she's three men and the mom is three men. And her sister loves this movie. And she loves the music in this movie. And she loves the singing in the movie. And she loves the dancing in the movie. And she loves the beginning and she loves the end. So, we actually are both watching now here. Yeah? It's going to be a very, very boring video. <laughs> <laughs> Let us say that you wanted the music. I was talking. I know. No, we can still talk, though. That's good. And so, well, it's just it's very hypnotic. You know, the city is very hypnotic. I had a music finished because I like to have it. I yeah, can't watch it with, with music without music. Because I'm actually looking at this screen right okay. here. Anyway, our boring movie is giving us a bad uh, image. Does it start? Okay, so that's easy. We can just turn the light off. Either. Here, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Put it down the way or do something with the lights. Yeah. We got some good lights here. See, I can actually see this. Look at that nice looking thing. Mother and child. Never let a child. See? Because nobody can get bigger than that. Let us say that the three sizes. Thank you, and my daddy was bigger than me. And you should have. I can't say anything, but I'm glad you're out. Can I tell you something really weird? I'm looking at this image right now. Do you remember this image? No. I do. It was a painting that was made of a round thing. But this guy right there, with like a bunch of planets on top of his head, or maybe there's something. There's on his no orange background. No huh? There he is. Tell me that's not him. Tell me that's not him. Tell me that's not him. There's no one. It's never said that he was more of a Santa Claus than you are because you still like to know the wife that I'm going to No, he wasn't. He had black and he had black beard on him. And that thing that he did, I promise you it was a black beard. Mom, I can see it clearly. I remember that I mean, I, the, 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 cut of, the cut off on the, on the couch. It's a photograph of that. In the house. Did I get it? Because my mother is very nervous. What happened to the picture? What happened to the picture? What happened to the picture? I'm more upset than the thing in this movie. Yeah, I know. It's kind of good. It's good for me too. You know who does that? The Buddhist monks are into that. They create the mandalas and they destroy them. They create the destroys. La última vez que supe de él, creo que estaba en un reclusorio o en un anexo. Por fixo, porque se metía esta chingadera esta ahí. Cemento de cemento lindo. ¿Cómo se llama? Silva. Miguel Silva.
Se casó con alguien y tuvo un hijo y se puso a trabajar en Telex y se alejó de conciencia de Cristo y se alejó de Yoga y se volvió en el Telex Lady y se lo perdió porque yo me fui a Rimalón y se perdió. Yo no fui muy lejos de esos años. ¿Qué año es el plato 2? ¿En el 83? ¿En el 83? ¿Por qué yo nací en el medio del 82? Y yo lo llevaba de un mes cuando me fui a ti. Pero mi papá acababa de morir. Y yo tenía una pequeña herencia y me encontré en ese plan. tiene atorada una generación y dice que yo le debo por los 10 mil pesos de sus cuatro millones de dólares y compró después a cinco millones. Entonces, este... Todo esto está pequeño, esto de teoría de esas defensas tiene que ver con él, porque hasta luego llegó, porque a Renata lo manifestó en un momento, le dijo, yo le debo 20 mil pesos por mí, y de repente ya era, su mamá me dio 400 mil a mí, en un giro de eso. Porque al quitarse la camisa de los ojos, que yo te la pude y yo te la echaré en baño de agua fría, porque yo no me gusta tener la camisa con cualquier cosa que me la pude. Se va a tomar mi tío y me queda con otra de mi carro, ¿no? Porque el punto es que, ¿qué? Pues tú. Transparencia. El punto es que Renato, la ayuda que pidió es ayudarme a comprar un carro con lo que me gasto de pasajes a la semana. Y en lo que acaba es en la pálida, Renato sin chamba, yo ofendida y todo este gran drama en una gran secrecía con el abogado de la familia y el abogado del diablo. Porque finalmente pues, Renan está muerto para hablar de esta ofensa tan grande que causa él con sus actitudes de acoso incestuoso, tanto con el niño como conmigo, ¿no? Ah, no, 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 Uh, 
I'm just saying. I said, where's my Yom Kippur? The beard of the Yom Kippur is going to come out with a saber of cheese from the school of the la verdad y la chingada and break all the chains in the family. La verdad es que descubrí gracias a mi que le tengo mucho miedo a la escuela. La razón que no he tenido un esposo, una familia, es que de amor. Pues, pues, pues es que vamos a decir que pertenecemos a un equipo que se llama los traumados. Entonces en el equipo de los traumados se tiene el trauma del amor inconquistado. El trauma del amor inconquistado es tú naces con una realidad psicomotora que te lleva a una actitud ante la vida pasivo defensiva porque te tiran las camionetas la gente te empuja cosas te pasan que te causan frustración todos tenemos alguna limitación unos tienen psicomotoras fuertes como lo tuyo o medianas porque el hijo de cosa que tiene un sueño y un bebé recientemente su, su, su problema su comentario es mucho peor que el tuyo está más o muchísimo más psicótico que el tuyo es un motor el motor no sirve para nada tiene un suicidio en su madera las conoces ¿no? entonces vamos a decir que dentro de los males el peor lo tuyo es una cosa ahora ¿Qué sucede? ¿Cómo hay que catalogarte a ti? A ti hay que catalogarte como una persona muy avanzada, de un intelecto muy depurado, muy estudioso de las cosas espirituales, físicas, y demónicas y aberrantes, porque van juntas unas con las otras, ¿verdad? Pero al mismo tiempo, una criatura muy fan de la bosque escondido de campanita. ¿Sí? Y que te encanta estar en tu bosque con luz de campanita, si no te vienes a bodes y cada vez que te Y eso que no pasa nada. Estás en tu derecho, no lastimas a nadie, no pasa nada. Al final, eh, lo que hay que observar es que si quieres relacionarte con alguien como Robin, Tienes que relacionarte con el tienes que relacionarte con el hombre de agua, tienes que relacionarte con el mundo loco, tienes que relacionarte con el imaginación, tienes que De otra forma, estás tocando the service, the service of the, of the self, you're not penetrating the self, you're not being related to the self, but rather just functioning the self around the self, which is, en caso de que se quita. Jesucristo no ve su alma, Jesucristo ve al muchachito que hay por el Espíritu de la vida 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 de <risa> no, 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 The screen is actually an application. That's the limitation of the screen. Mm -hmm. But if you have enough screen, there's enough eyes, maybe. Oh, mi vida. Vamos a ver cantar. 
Ich habe Englisch. But I guarantee you that man who has such a beautiful beard, he just let it grow. I saw an off-screen video and I saw a movie that had fun doing it. Yeah. They were just three guys and they just had a lot of bad things. Mm -hmm. That limits it so much. That, that problem it so much. is the only problem with movies, baby. There isn't any other problem with movies, I'm sure. Because what I, I mentioned is the relationship between the camera, the camera, and the See, it's, it's all, it's all interrelated. It's all, like it's a, it's a web of memory. It's a memory web. Melt of money. Why do you need to sleep with a pizza? Because it helps you with numbers. No, I mean, if it's only like a, a, a guide of lines, I need a light on the monitor, not a light on the ball. Right. A light on the monitor. But you can do that in the sand. If I, I can leave out the sound, I don't get in the sound. The sound actually is what I feed on when I'm asleep. So I'm very careful about the sound not to be affected in the sleep. Because I wake up with highly stressed, with none missing the moments of sleep. Like, ah, ah, ah. And I wake up and there's a conversion. I'm just saying, I, 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 I don't make me even more loud if you want to go play <laughs> before. You, you just take that. You take get me it. fat like a pig and then eat me. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Kill me and eat me. No, no, no. I'm just saying oh, there's something shit. so beautiful about you sleeping. Can't I just say it's very pretty to see your mother sleep? I'll, right. I'll tape it and you can see what I'm talking about. Let us say that uh, I hardly ever do anything. When I sleep, I really go to the Talandia dance. I thought you already said about the Vishnu. Well, I <coughs> happen to like my yellow detective. No, it it looks it's like all my cash marks. And they're very sweet and forgetful. And whenever I 
feel like I'm being too seduced by them, I just pull on to my initiative and get them either somewhere around ready to rescue me or where they are. Oh, they're golden and much stuff. Are they as handsome as the women? They're different. It's a different way of handling. And, uh, and then I fly on to my gandalas and I start singing the music in the manner of uh, Atlantida in the upper rock and nothing to do with a Spanish And then I never really actually reach Rasastandi or Krishna because I am still hot enough brain to go there. Monk would get a little enough for me to understand the reason I And I'd like to think that I had it. I want to say yes. The part of the heart stayed there forever. It's a very nice yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Coriolis is a gold. Well, the United States has made the best deal for the I mean, shovels, the Tarapika shovels, the shovels, the shovels, the Whatever. Huh? Nothing. Have you ever been in the Dominican? Yeah, I think so. I think so. That's a story. This is very strong. Have you ever been in the Dominican? But the first thing is being with us first. From So we finally come to the over not ladies and gentlemen, not before giving you these commercial these Watch Chintamani Ashram in the next you chapter. Want to we'll see even better stuff. Benuito the Barbon. If you want to see the uh, old baby over here. You go to Pulpo, whatever the fuck, and find him in YouTube Kaksmarxic Tone. My Not name is Adriana Atlantida Gonzalez Dominguez, and I'm a Facebooker. I have a YouTube class of uh, learning somewhere that I haven't finished. Eventually. But YouTube doesn't feel so much as FB, you know? No, YouTube is Google. If, Google is the CIA. See, yeah, I was never CIA. into companies. I was never into companies. I, the CIAs are mean. The CIA doesn't depend on the Fed. It makes its own money. What happens is CIA are the uh, bottom of narco. So the Fed are rather users of narco. <laughs> They're narcomanes. <laughs> so I belong to the Fed. I'm the men in green smoke the green. Okay. Men in black. Take their sack. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. Pero I am still a man in black myself. 
only my war. No, I don't give a damn. I'm my outfit. I'm not. I'm in your house right now. No, you're not. You're in your sister's house. I'm trying to close it. You're just going on about it. It's not that one. It's over here.